Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome to Books for Tea. I want to quickly talk to you about what happened with 7 days of top 7 because I was doing really 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 good until day 5 and I didn't upload any videos for day 6 and day 7 as you might have noticed and the reason for that is that I'm having major problems with my camera right now. Um, I filmed the entire video for day 6 and it got deleted for no reason and I tried to restore it but it didn't work so... The problem is that this is like the second SD card that this has happened with, so I'm guessing it's not the problem of the SD card but of my camera. So there's a good chance that this video won't even be saved as well. And if you're watching this, then shout out to my camera for functioning this time around. <laughs> Anyway, let's try to get into this video. <laughs> Today's video is gonna be my TBR for the Holiday Adventure Fun. I will link all the infos for that reader fun down below. But it's a really cool Christmas themed reader fun that starts on Thursday the 13th and runs all the way until Christmas Eve, Sunday the 24th. This reader fun is based on this really cool choose your own adventure sort of sheet. Um, I will link it down below as well, but I also put a picture up here, but I'm not sure if you can see it. Basically in this reader fun there are all these different paths and you can kind of choose your own way based on what challenges you want to do and what books you want to read. Based on that you are also joining a specific team and I will be Team Snowman for this reader fun. The first challenge is the same for everyone and that is presents. Read a book that you were gifted. I am kind of stretching this a little bit but I will be reading The City of Dreaming Books by Walter Meurs as a graphic novel. Um, I've talked about this in my most recent book haul. I was given this by the publisher to review but they have kind of gifted it to me you know because I have gotten it for free because they are so nice. So I'm counting it for this challenge and I'm so excited to read this. The second challenge is Santa, read a book with red on the cover. And for this I am reading The Afterlife of Holly Chase. So this is based on A Christmas Carol and it's about this girl who's been a really bad person throughout her life. So she has to become one of the ghosts of Christmas, I think the ghost of Christmas past. And um, she has to appear to all those people who are also being really horrible in their lives and she has to make sure that they are trying to change their ways, unlike what she did. And um, I've heard some really really great things about it and it's holiday themed and I'm really trying to get into the holiday spirit because this is all the books I'm gonna read until up to Christmas. So I have to make them as Christmassy as possible to get me into the right mood. And I'm gonna listen to this on audiobook and I'm really really excited for it. The next challenge I'm gonna do is Wonder, which is to read a book that's based on a holiday and for that I'm gonna read The Christmas Sorrows by Tom Fletcher. I'm so excited for this, so many people have been raving about it. It's about this little boy who loves Christmas and he also loves dinosaurs. So for Christmas he wishes for a dinosaur and that wish comes true and it's a middle grade novel by this um, YouTuber actually which I didn't know and this has beautiful illustrations and, ap and apparently it's also been made into a musical and you can like listen to the soundtrack of this which is awesome and yeah I'm, I'm super excited for this. It's like my most anticipated read for the whole read -a -fun. <laughs> The next challenge is cookies which is to read a book while snacking on some Christmas themed snacks and I'm already really excited for the Christmas cookies I'm gonna eat and the book I will be reading for that challenge is it's kind of a funny story by Ned Vizzini and um, I've talked about this on my A Very Merry Reader Fun TBR and as you can tell I haven't read it during that time. I kind of completely failed the Very Merry Reader Fun so I'm not gonna do a wrap up for it because I basically only read like a good chunk of Ramona Blue but I didn't even finish it and other than that I basically read nothing so let's not talk about it but um, I really want to finish it's kind of a funny story during the next read of what I'm doing um, I have around 200 pages left so yeah that's gonna be my book for that challenge then I got to choose whether to go down the naughty or nice path and I decided on nice which is to read a book that was recommended to me and I'm gonna go with good night stories for rebel girls um, this is the German version. I'm super excited to finish this. I've already started it 
um, and it's about all those inspiring women and how amazing their lives were basically and it's super inspiring for children and people of all ages really. This has been gotten amazing reviews and therefore it has been recommended to me over and over again while watching people's reactions to this book on Instagram and on YouTube and on Goodreads and everywhere. So I'm super excited to finally finish this. The next challenge is called Jack Frost and it is to read a book that has the world snow in the title and for this I'm gonna go with another audiobook although this one is really really short and that is The Snow Queen and Other Stories by Hans Christian Andersen. I found this audiobook on BookBeat so I really wanna check it out and tick off the challenge of reading something with snow in the title. And then the final challenge, which leads me to be part of the snowman team, is to read a historical fiction book. And for this one I actually have two choices. The first one is another audiobook, and that is Prisoner of Night and Fog. I've heard really amazing things about it. I know that it's set in Germany during the World War II, I believe. And I think it follows Hitler's niece, which is obviously fictional, but I think that's how it is. Um, I've heard some really, really great things about it. I'm pretty sure Sascha Alsberg recommended it like years ago, and then I I think it was also in Haley's winter reading guide, so I really really want to check it out. Um, but I already have a 10 hour audiobook on my TVR and this would be another 10 hour audiobook, so I don't know if I'm gonna get to it. So my other option is to read The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas. This is another historical fiction set in World War II. Um, I think it's about a boy who goes to a concentration camp and it's supposed to be super sad and it's required reading for a lot of people but I've never actually read it so I would like to check it out and it's under 300 pages so maybe this would be more manageable than another huge audiobook. So that was it for my TBR. Let me know if you're also joining this video fun and if you are, what team are you in? Are you also on Team Snowman or are you in another one? Definitely let me know in the comments. Link me to your TBR videos if you've done any or to your blog posts or wherever you're gonna update it and I will follow you and I will try to encourage you during this read fun so we can do it together and yeah I'm just super super excited for this really. So thanks so much for watching and I will hopefully see you again in another video very very soon so goodbye!